So a planetary parade people might often think of as planets lining up in the sky um, or more so in space. So when we see pictures from NASA or in textbooks, they're often drawn side by side. When we talk about a planetary parade as something you can see in the sky, it's that the planets appear in a roughly line-like position across the sky. Saturn, and then finally you've got Uranus and Neptune. So we have the Sun at the centre of our solar system and then we know that planets orbit around it. Um, and here's our Earth and from the Earth when we look towards the more western part of the sky, uh, after sunset probably around 6-7 o'clock, we'll see planets like Venus, Saturn and even Neptune that may be visible. Um, but if we look towards the other part of the sky at roughly the same time too, we'll see Jupiter and Uranus and then Mars even further over to the east. So what's awesome about trying to look for planets in the sky is that actually quite a few of them are visible to the naked eye. So you don't need any tools, no binoculars or telescopes. So if you want to look for the naked eye planets, as we call them, uh, then Venus and Saturn over in the western part of the sky, they'll be visible to the eye. And then you should be able to spot Jupiter and Mars further over to the east. Uh, Venus and Jupiter typically are the brightest ones. Planetary alignments that are minor, like two to three planets, happen very often, um, especially with the inner planets. They can happen every few months. But when you get out to the gas giants, since they're very far out there, have bigger orbits moving a little bit slower, um, those occur about every few decades, I'd say, um, but they persist for a long period of time. So about every 20 years, we have an alignment between Jupiter and Saturn and it'll persist for quite, quite a bit of time, a few decades in itself. Um, so I'd say those four to six planet alignments can be frequent, um, but it depends on kind of where you are in its cycle. In terms of days, uh, the day doesn't matter as much as the time. Um, like you said, it's it's visible now, um, but once we get into mid-February or so, it's going to start to be more difficult to see Saturn and Venus because they're going to be lower in the western sky um, soon after sunset. So we'll we'll start to lose um, lose them in the brightness of sunset. So. Um, the sooner the better, but you, you'll be able to still see them even into uh, early February. 